Hello everyone, welcome to carblanchefix.net. My name is Rahman and today we begin a series of tutorials on car rigging in Cinema 4D. All of the following chapters of this series will be released as soon as I found something new that can supplement this rig. This means chapters will not always came out one by one. Parallel to this series will also came out tutorials on other topics. Be prepared for this and stay tuned. My English is still bad, so if you have any question about tutorial, leave a comment on Carblanche Fix, and I'll be happy to answer. Well, here we go. Let's see what we have. We have a null object car, which includes the body and four wheels. Make sure that the axis center is near the inner side of each wheels. This will be useful for us in the future. Moving forward backward of this car is on X axis, and we need to associate the movement with the rotation of the wheels on P axis. Create Expresso tag. Drag and drop car and four wheels in the Expresso editor. The output port. Position, position X. Input port in the wheels, rotation, rotation P. Connect and see what happens. Actually, it's not what we want. To fix this, we will use a range mapper node and connect it. So far nothing has changed, but this is just yet. Go into settings of node. First correct rotation of the wheels, as they rotate in opposite direction. Click reverse. Even better, but they rotate too fast. In input range, reserve user defined. And output range, expose degrees. In the inner upper, set 1. In output upper, uh, set 10 degrees. This means that for car on promotion to 1 on X axis, wheel rotated by 10 degrees. Looks good. We need something can detect inertia of the object. To do this, Create a null object called spring. Apply the constraint tag. Turn on spring. And in target put our car. Turn on position and rotation. Put the length to 0 and gravity to 1. 
Let's make a new object, for example, cube. Let's test this. Not bad, but let's set the drag parameter to 20. Looks great. The idea is to combine position of spring and position of the body. Now, drag spring and body in, in Express Editor. Choose global position on X axis and connect. Once again, we see something strange. Combine value using range mapper. And reduce the parameter output upper 0.02. Not bad. It remains to add a slight tilt body forward on the braking. Little bit organized. Copy range mapper, hold control and drag. Connect with the P axis of the object body. Everything works fine, or not. What's going on? The car is gonna do a front flip, or back flip. It's extremely strange. This happens because when we move in car forward, we always increase the value on the x-axis. And of course, rotation of the body. Let's try to fix this. For this, we use a node called math. Set subtract. and subtracted from value the x-axis of our car, the value of x-axis of our spring. Excellent. Let's decrease to, to 0.02. All right. But let's look closer. Maybe the same thing happens with the inertia of the x-axis. And yes, it happens. Let's do exactly the same thing. Copy this node, hold control and drag. And of course, reconnect. Great, all works fine.
Let's see what we get. We have a car which has a forward rotation wheels and we have the effect of inertia during braking. This is quite a good start and we will continue in the next tutorial. Stay tuned and I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.